Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Google's geocoding API in Python. The reason I'm making this tutorial is because uh, later on, I'll be showing you how to uh, solve uh, this freelance project, which requires using uh, Google geocoding API. But for now, uh, this is going to be a, a video for later. And I want to show you how to use a uh, geocoding API so we can uh, provide the solution to a future video. So first we need to go to the uh, geocoding API documentation. And if you have never used this API before, basically uh, the geocoding API gives you the ability to convert an address to a, a geocoding uh, corner, such as uh, latitude, longitude, and some other information I remember. And it's been a while since I used this API. I only have been using this API like a couple of times. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have an API key. And if you don't, you can click on Google Cloud Platform Console link, and that will take you to the uh, Google Cloud Console uh, dashboard. And here, let me uh, make the font size a little bigger. And once you get to this page, uh, you want to go to navigation menu and click on API and services. And we need to enable the library first. And here you want to search for geocoding. And it's going to be the first API. So click on that. And make sure that this API service is enabled. And once you enable the geocoding API service, now we need to create an API uh, credential. So go back to the navigation menu. And this time we're going to go to APIs and services. And we're going to click on credentials. Now on the top, you want to click on create credentials and choose API key. And Google Cloud Platform is going to generate a new set of API key. And you want to copy this API key and close. I'm going to put the API key in my script. Now I have the API key and also enable the uh, geocoding API service. Now we can run the API call. And I'll be using the requests library to uh, run to make the API call. And from the documentation, here let me minimize the browser. Right, so we have the API key. Now let's go back to the documentation. In here, this is the uh, base URL, so from HTTPS to uh, the JSON uh, attribute. And here's the example. So here for the query, I will need to provide the query parameter as address followed by uh, the API key. Now let's go back to the script. And here I'm going to create a dictionary. I'm going to name this dictionary as parameters. And my first key is going to be key. And this is going to be my API key. And the next parameter is going to be address. And this is going to be the address that you want to uh, supply us the input. Now, let me go back. So here I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to name this variable address. And let's say I want to search for uh, Facebook uh, headquarters corner. So it's going to be one uh, hex drive and Facebook's headquarters in uh, Menlo Park, California. Now let me just run uh, line one to line 10 by itself. Here, let me run the, uh, the statements. And for the address parameter, I'm going to assign address variable. Next, I'm going to create my base URL variable. I'm going to go back to the documentation. I'm going to grab from HTTPS to JSON, and including the question mark. Now, if I try to make an API call, so I'll run uh, line 12. So from the requests library that gets, I'll provide my base URL and followed by the parameters to the parameters uh, to the parameters parameter. 
if I run line 13, and let's see, so if I run, if I execute response.json, and here I'm getting the invalid request. Let's take a look. Uh, missing the address component. Address component. So if I print my params uh, dictionary. Oh, I see. So here I forgot. So my address uh, value is blank. Here, let me do this again. All right now, let me try again. So if I run a uh, line 13 and 14, and this time I'm getting uh, some results back. Here, let me uh, insert the JSON method to uh, convert the response string to a JSON format. So that'll be a little bit easier to work with. All right, so if I print the keys, and we have two keys, results and status. So if I print my status uh, value, and it's going to get me OK. So here I'm going to insert condition. If uh, status is equals to OK, then I want to grab my uh, corner value. So here we have uh, quite a few uh, keys, so such as types. Uh, here's the address component, uh, short name, and let's see, I want the, the corners. And the corner is under the under the geometry key. So usually what I would do is I'll print the response that results. And that's going to return as a uh, as a list. And we only have one uh one item, so we can just reference zero as the first item. And that will turn as a dictionary. Now you can print the keys. And here are the keys that we can use to get different results. And I'm only interested in the corner value, so it's going to be coming from this uh, JAMA three key. And also, I'll just play around with different uh, key values, such as address components, format address, and so on. So I'll store the JAMA tree output as JAMA tree. And I'll execute line 16 to 17. Now, if I print the JAMA tree object, and that gets me, let's see, where's my corner value? So here's the location, and we have um, southwest corner value, north, uh, should do uh, southwest, northeast, and basically different, uh, different angles of corner value. And I just want the location, so it's gonna be from the location key. So I can reference the location reference. I can grab the latitude and longitude. And that should be it. So latitude and longitude. Alright, so that's the that's that's the entire script. Now let me terminate this uh, section. Now if I press F5 to run the script. And here's my latitude and longitude uh, corner value. Right, so this is everything to cover in this video, and hopefully you guys found the videos for. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.